In this Elden Ring Equipment and Magic, what Elden Ring weapons, armor, and spells could be like video, we'll be looking at the upcoming Elden Ring RPG by From Software and Bandai Namco, and speculating on the weapons, armor, and magic systems that you're likely to see based on the past releases. Some information around this has been confirmed, and some of it we've seen in the leaked gameplay, but keep in mind, most of this is guesswork based on past From Software games and development and marketing trends. The build variety of Souls is primarily driven by an abundance of equipment and spell options that can make your character feel unique. We know that Elden Ring is in the same genre as Dark Souls, so we expect to see some familiar things intermingled with new concepts and features. From Software began this journey with a rather limited selection of gear in Demon Souls and expanded it exponentially for subsequent Dark Souls titles. So their under 80 collection of weapons and 18 armor sets became over 220 weapons and over 90 armor sets. The increase in the quantity of gear didn't necessarily mean a reduction in quality as special effects continued to pop up and weapons acquired special skills to enhance their movesets. Additionally, Bloodborne introduced the concept of trick weapons, limiting the player's arsenal but allowing each weapon's moveset to become truly intricate and unique. Magic, on the other hand, has undergone less radical changes with the main miracles for buffing and healing and sorceries for offensive magic becoming a norm. The Dark Souls franchise experimented with different schools of magic, introducing pyromancies and hexes in an attempt to diversify the caster's options and make casting possible for non-mage builds. There will likely be new and unexpected gear in the game, but first let's discuss the equipment and magic you will surely see in Elden Ring. From the Elden Ring announcement videos, From Software said this, There will be a plethora of weapons, magic, and builds, and a focus on RPG elements. From Software expects equipment variety to be larger than Souls in this regard. The almost confirmed weapons and magic available for the game as seen on the leaked gameplay trailer are swords, flails, spears and polearms, magic spear, the spell, and homing soul arrow or some variation of it. Weapons we expect to see because of previous games are large and ultra great swords, hammers, clubs, and large clubs, curved swords and large curved swords, katanas, piercing and thrusting weapons, axes and great axes, bows, large bows and crossbows, some fist, scythe, and whip weapons, something to cast miracle style magic, and something to cast sorcery style magic, as well as boss weapons. Magic we expect to see because of previous games are healing magic, self buffs, stealth magic, resurrection or second chance magic, soul spears and such direct hit magic missiles, shielding magic, return to checkpoint magic, and elemental magic like lightning and fire. Of course, even if we're expecting familiar systems and mechanics, we are certain From Software will treat us to new and interesting concepts. We are hoping to see them stay true to their biggest ever claim from the announcement, and deliver on a scale that no other Souls game has before. To this end, here are some of the concepts we would really love to see explored. Builds in the Souls series have become almost cookie cutter into a simple meta of stats plus weapon tier with a decreasing importance on armor. I would absolutely love to see armor sets become a thing with bonuses that provide unique boosts. Neo has experimented with this concept, but I think Souls needs to go all the way. Right to the 400 plus sets that give Elder Scrolls Online its amazing flexibility. Let us pick to mix and match 2 and 5 piece bonuses, give us level or stat requirements for the most unique ones, and handle twink builds out of the equation by simple application of itemization progression. Let rings become sets and match the bonuses to covenants. In short, apply special effects as set bonuses rather than random pieces, and give us all more reason to go hunt down all the armors in the game. Weapon Mechanics We discussed this briefly during the Factions and Covenants theory video, and it's something that would really tie the game together for me. Demon Souls had weapons that dealt more or less damage based on your character's tendency, and it would be great to see a similar mechanic that connects Covenants, character reputation, and even regions to your damage and active effects. Another interesting mechanic would be to create expanding movesets or skills based on weapon usage or character progression. Somewhere between Trick Weapons, Dark Souls 3's Weapon Skills, and Sekiro's Ability Trees, there could be a sweet spot where upgrading and using your weapon gives you special capacities and expands the moveset. This would make players who like to stick to one weapon have something to work on and get a reward for their loyalty. Weapon Upgrading I would love to see Weapon Evolution. The tried and tested crafting system could benefit from some of the more obscure punishing mechanics of Demon's Souls and Dark Souls, but more than anything I would like to see some sort of Diablo-esque legendary item approach to unique and powerful drops. Bloodborne tinkered with the idea of adding drops to specific dungeons, and it could be time for From Software to explore a middle ground between its traditional weapon stoicism and Neo's happy fountain of loot. Enhanced Magic Spellcasting has become rather stale, and I would love to see it buffed to provide more for the aspiring mage. My first idea in this regard is to enhance the animations and scale of magic. Since the game has a day and night cycle, we could be allowed to cast daily spells that have a significant effect on the world. Let me increase loot chance, prevent rain, create darkness in an entire region so stealth is easier, etc. New Elemental Magic so far, magic has been light, dark, lightning, fire. It's time to get ice, water, earth, poison, etc. into the hands of spellcasters as well. 
crowd control free spells, tidal wave or cleansing water spells, and of course, Norse themed druid earth and nature magic could give the Elden Ring magic schools a completely new feel. Accessory improvements. Souls has enhanced its ring experience by increasing slots, but we may be overdue for having a full necklace, rings, amulet, plus decorations to go with it. Elden Ring could take some ideas from the skill and decoration system of Monster Hunter and give players the option to buff their builds via special gem slots on armor and weapons, in addition to accessories. This was briefly explored in Bloodborne, but it was at the expense of the upgrade system, so I'd like to see them both together. Crafting and Upgrades Complexity Upgrades are a divisive component for the community as many don't want to spend time farming materials or preparing their character, and fear making mistakes that nullify that work. As a result of this, Souls abandoned the convoluted and hard to understand system of Demon Souls, and progressed to be more and more forgiving up to the point where you just level up your weapon, then apply a gem to change its properties. It would be interesting to see the formula rework so players can refine their weapons with significant choices in vastly diverging paths, merging the upgrade system with unlocks of weapon skills and movesets, special buffs, etc. It would also be encouraging to see armor upgrades that unlock bonuses, change appearance, or provide cosmetic options such as changing the die of armors. NPC Equipment and Magic Boss souls have been used to craft weapons and magic and in some instances obtain special armor. What I would like to see added to this system is the temptation of an evil playthrough where murdering specific NPCs gives the option to obtain special and unique gear and spells. Let bosses and NPCs alike be fair game for the gear obsessed and allow us to craft many armors, weapons, and spells from their life essence. Your equipment and loadout are an integral part of the game. So now we want to know what you think. What will the equipment of Elden Ring be like? Are you expecting anything new? What was your favorite upgrade system? What are your most wanted changes to the armor, weapons, and magic, and what do you really, really want to keep the same? Let us know in the comments below.